Hey everybody, Tara here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be diving into an old favorite of mine. Came out um, uh, about a year ago, maybe a little longer. Um, I know I've had it a while. Anyway, um, it's the Urban Decay Prince palette. There is the Let's Go Crazy and You Got the Look palettes. I have them both. Um, and this is what they look like if I can get them held up together with the color stories. One is more uh, a daytime kind of thing and one's more of a nighttime kind of thing. But I am going for a purple vibe in general today, maybe a smoked out look. So I'm going to be using both palettes today and I will try to get in depth into what colors I'm actually using for this look and try not to make this video too long. However, I am experimenting with a new look today with the eyeshadows under the eye. That's still new to me. Uh, these young girls do it and they look so good, but I have under eye bags and so I need to see if I can adapt this to uh, my over 40 face. So uh, with that, I am going to start diving into some colors. Let me grab my brushes, my sponges, um, my Everclear to clean my brushes and uh, we'll, we'll jump into this. So um, be right back. Okay, now that I have all of my tools and favorites and things in front of me, I can dive in. Um, I have already cleaned my face and rehydrated my face with um, the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Um, no complaints so far. My skin feels like a baby's butt. It's pretty smooth. So, um, no complaints. Uh, I am going to start with something I got in my, I can't remember if it was my ice cream or my BoxyCharm, but it is a full size of Thera eyeshadow primer. I've used it once or twice before. It's not bad. So I'm going to try it today again. Um, usually I use my P. Louise, but this isn't bad. This isn't bad. I'm going to jump into this. It's more of a, a sheer primer than it is doing you a blank canvas like the P. Louise, but that's okay. Um, we'll, we'll see how it, it, it stacks up with the vibrant purples I'm going to be using today. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this. It's been a while since I've filmed a, a full tutorial. Uh, my last tutorial was absolutely horrible. And I did not like the way my makeup turned out, but I posted it anyway just to, I don't know. I am I have bad makeup days too, so I thought I would share that with the rest of the world, but I definitely know that I'm not perfect. So. For all those trolls out there, you know, leave me alone. I already know I'm not that great, but I'm trying, you know. At least I make an effort. At least I make an effort, so. I just want to make people happy, make people laugh, smile, you know. Give people tips, tricks, advice. If I can share what I know and what I've learned with the rest of the world and it does somebody some good, awesome. If you don't like me, don't watch me. But I haven't had that many problems with trolls. On TikTok I have, but not here on my, my YouTube channel. I luckily have not had any trolls yet, knock on wood. My dogs don't start barking thinking that was really somebody knocking on the door. They do that sometimes. And this is a very, very sheer primer. And speaking of dogs, here they go barking. Um, sounds like somebody's at the front door. Um, crap. Ugh. Just the mailman. My dogs are stupid. Anyway, so um, yes, this primer is pretty good. I can see where I've got a clean space to work, but it is very, very sheer, and that's okay. 
because my foundation I'm using today, same one I used in my last tutorial that turned out horrible. Um, I'm going to try a different setting powder with it and a different concealer and hopefully I get a different result because I actually really like this foundation and I want to give it a chance. So um, there I have primed my eyes and I think um, I'm going to go through these colors real quick that I'm going to use and then I'm going to go into fast forward because otherwise these videos take forever to watch and uh, I want to be able to share the entire experience with you without taking an hour to do it. So um, with that, um, I'm probably going to begin with the, I think this is the, you got the look, oh crap, I never know which one this is. I can't tell them apart. The lighter one. Um, Alphabet Street. I'm going to go in with Alphabet Street as my transition color. And then on top of that, I'm probably going to go in with Funk and Roll right here. Um, and then in the center of the lid, I think I want to go with this one in this palette called Groovy Potential. And to smoke out that look, I'm going to dab a little into a bit of Delirious and mix it with a hint of the artist. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with So Dark. Um, I'm very nervous about this. This is a much bolder look than I'm used to. And, um, oh, as a highlighter, I'll be going in with Crystal Bowl. And my inner corners, I will be using DMSR. This one, right? This one right here. So, alright. Um, now we're going to hit that fast forward button and um, see how far I get.
just wanted to stop and insert real quick. Um, this is a really good formula. I'm, I, I love the colors, but to be honest, I'm having a very hard time blending it out because as you can see, there is a tremendous amount of fallout and I'm glad I do my eyes first so I can clean this up. I don't have to, you know, mess up my foundation. Um, but there, I love Urban Decay and I love, you know, everything I've, I've tried of Urban Decay so far. But, um, yeah, a, a lot of fallout in this palette. So just beware if you are getting ready with me or following along. Um, make sure to tap out your brush pretty good because otherwise you'll make the mis same mistake I just did. Okay, so I really like the colors. I like the mascara. Um, I do have the eyeliner that goes with this set, but I'm not going to use it uh, just quite yet. Um, I'm like I said, I'm having a, a little trouble blending because of all the fallout. So this side is what I want it to look like. This side is a little heavy on. The, the 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 smokiness right here um, trying to get it buffed out um, to to look even and then I'm gonna put my foundation on I'm going to try a different setting powder today and a different primer than usual because of the type of moisturizer I used oh there we go okay that's much better um, that's what it needed just it's got a little shimmer in it so you can kind of see the the glittery falling out of my face and I hope that doesn't uh, mix with my foundation and get glitter all over my face. I hate that. I hate that. Um, I like glitter but God is it a bitch to clean up. It really is. Um, so uh, what I'm going to use for my primer today is one of my favorites. It makes your skin really soft and it smells really good. Is this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, this little jar right here and I love the way it smells it's got this citrusy smell to it so I'm gonna dip into a little bit of that as my primer today um, I think that'll go good with the foundation I'm using or it's a skin tint technically it's a skin tint and yes I always do my eyes first if you've watched my channel or watched any of my videos you know that because of the whole fallout issue, which I had today, is exactly, you know, the, the perfect example of why I do my eyes first before I do my foundation. That way I can clean it up, you know, beforehand and not just waste a full face of, of makeup trying to, you know, fix what, what went wrong. God, that smells so good. Okay, so I have my new antimicrobial sponge here and uh, my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint in, uh, I want to say it's 118 was my shade in like all of their makeup. It's 118. Um, can't find it on here right now, but I'm pretty, yep, 118. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And I'm um, going to be setting that today with my Maybelline 
Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Fairlight number 10. And this is actually one of my favorites, but I'm running kind of low on it, so I need to get another one. Um, so let's dive into that foundation and the baking. Uh, as far as my concealer goes, uh, I've got to go back to my NARS. They just, they never do me wrong. So I'm going to be using my NARS concealer in uh, medium one custard. I love this, this shade. It's a good, good shade for me. It gets rid of my, my bags. So um, let's dive, shall we? Okay, here's where I dip my toe into new territory. Um, first, I'm gonna throw on some NYX uh, brow glue, get these things under control, and then I'm going to take my Prince palette again and use the shade When Doves Cry in my uh, inner corner right here to uh, brighten out the um, the crystal ball shade I used on the inner portion of my wing. And there we go, get them tamed a little bit. And I'm gonna take a little tiny fluffy brush like that. And I'm gonna use a dust cry right here. And take that and put that right Okay, yeah, that's almost done. Just trying to keep the fallout to a minimum. Because I've already got my foundation on now, so if I get any fallout on my foundation, I'm kind of screwed. So, I really like this shade when Ducks Cry. That is a very, very, very pretty white chrome, white with a violet chrome kind of tint to it. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay, um, all right. Here comes the new stuff. I'm taking my, the, uh, I don't know what you call this brush, the, the slanty edge, thin edge brush, and I'm going to dip into so dark right here. I'm so scared. <laughs> and then we're going to take my new little smudging tool and smudge it out um, and then add a little bit of color under that, which is what I'm not used to. So uh, dipping in so dark. Don't forget to tap out. Definitely dark. It's definitely dark. Oh crud, one is thinner than the other, but I'm going to smudge it out anyway, so it's alright. I'm scared. I'm scared. So clean that brush up and get that one away. Where's my new smudgy tool? 
Oh boy. I lost the light of it. Okay. I don't know what the code is, but I got it in a kit that was given to me by a friend that is also a fellow YouTuber. Thank you, Chanda. You're awesome. Um, so I've never used this. I've always wanted one. So let's pressure change it. And there we go with the fudge. Oh, that feels weird. That is very different from my smudge brush. This is more like a... Oh, not, not a sponge. It's more dense than a sponge. Like a... Just a... Very dense uh, applicator tip. I don't think you put makeup on this though. I do think this is I'm using it exactly what it's meant for right now, hopefully. Otherwise I'm gonna look really stupid. Okay, that actually smudged nicely on one side but not on the other. Seem to be having that luck today. Not bad, not bad. Alright, next step is a color and you use the actual smudge brush with the color. So let me get my smudge brush. It is a short, stubby little brush. But um, first, I have no idea which brush I need for this step. So we're just going to take a tiny crease brush like this, and, uh, okay, let's jump into some purple, um, I don't think I want to use Groovy Potential, um, let's try Delirious right here, this one right here, um, wish me luck. Tap out before you get the fallout. see what's happening here. That's, okay, that's kind of cool looking. Except I'm not using fake lashes, so I hope, I hope my mascara is the one. Because I'm not putting on some fake lashes today. Okay, that is very dark. Take this smudgy brush and buff that out. I see the goal here. I uh, never tried this before, so I'm trying to be brave and try it on camera. Dear Lord, help me, help us all. Oh wow, okay, I had my close-up mirror in my face, so, um, wow, that is vibrant, um, that's pretty, that's pretty, um, well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup off camera and, um, come back with a completed look, um, but real quick first, uh, I am gonna give my lips a, a little time to plump up. This is a favorite of mine, ColourPop So Juicy. And um, it's a plumping gloss, and I have it in the color Princess Cut. It's just a clear gloss, no shimmer, no nothing, just clear. But oh my god, it is a really wonderful formula and does exactly what it says. It plumps your lips wonderfully. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on while I finish the rest of my makeup. And uh, we'll come back and see where the look. Okay, y'all. This is my completed look for the day. Can't say I'm disappointed. It kind of didn't look good at first. I had a lot of blending, a lot of fallout. But I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I did opt for a nude liner with a 
shimmer lavender gloss to go simple um, a little bit of um, the balm what's it called the balm blush in the shade stamina really like that it's a little tiny one but it's got some good pigment to it so can't say that I'm disappointed um, but yeah tell me what you guys think um, not having the greatest hair day but my makeup turned out a lot better than I anticipated. Uh, I finished off with some AF94 Plead the Fifth Setting Spray, and I also dried my face with my wonderful little Nimya Blow and Go Fan. Uh, so, with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!